Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can create a slave agent in Jenkins and launch this slave agent via SSH. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a slave agent and launch this slave agent via a method called Java Web Start. Now in the last video, we have seen how to create a Linux slave agent. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Windows slave agent. So let's get started. Now before starting and before launching our slave agent via Java Web Start, we need to do some settings. And I'm going to show you how to do these settings. So first of all, go to the Manage Jenkins section. And once the Manage Jenkins section is open, go to configure system settings so just click on configure system and once the configure system settings are open you just need to scroll down until you find this section which says jenkins location now by default this jenkins url is set to http colon forward slash forward slash localhost port 8080 and you will see this uh, small warning here also, which says, please set a valid host name instead of localhost. So if you have the host name for your Jenkins server, then you can give this host name here. Otherwise, we will give the local IP address of this server instead of the local host. Okay. So to know the local IP address, I'm going to just open the terminal and I'm going to just write if config command and then press enter, which is going to give me the local uh, IP address, which is this one. So I'm going to replace this local host by this IP address. Okay. So if you have the host name for your Jenkins server, you can write the host name here. If you have the IP address, of your Jenkins server, just write the IP address here instead of localhost. And this is important for this particular step to launch your slave agent via Java Web Start. And now I'm going to save my configurations. And once the configurations are saved, now we are ready to create our new slave node. So once again, I'm going to go to the manage Jenkins section and I'm going to choose the section called manage nodes and you can see our master node is there and the second node is this node which is Ubuntu which we have created in the last video which is offline right now because my slave is not running right now so that's why it's offline so let's create a new node so I'm going to just click on the new node option and here I'm going to give the name of my node I'm going to just uh, give uh, the name Windows 8 because the slave is running on the Windows 8 operating system. So I'm going to just give the name Windows 8 underscore agent. Okay. And then you can just choose this option which says permanent agent. If you want to copy the existing node, then you can also choose the option which is called copy existing node. But right now we don't have any Windows agent. That's why I have just chosen uh, this option which says permanent agent. And now I'm going to just click on OK. And you will see this section here. So most of the options which are shown here we have discussed in the last video. So I'm going to go through all of them one by one really fast. So the name is Windows 8 agent description, whatever you want, you can describe here. Number of executors, we will uh, take a uh, number of executors as two, which means that this Windows agent will be able to run two parallel jobs. And then we need to provide the remote root directory. And this will be the directory where all of your Jenkins related file will be saved on your Windows slave agent. So I already have created a directory inside my C folder on my Windows slave agent. And I'm going to just copy this path from my Windows slave agent and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. 
and the label we already know what is label from the last video so i'm going to just uh, give this uh, label here which is windows you are free to give any other label which you wish to provide here usage uh, i'm going to just leave it as default which is use this node as much as possible and you will be able to see uh, this option which is launch agent via java web start okay so if you don't see this option which is launch agent via web start you just need to go to the settings once again so this is when you don't see this option which is uh, launch agent via web start you just need to go to your dashboard and once again go to manage jenkins and then go to configure global security and inside the configure global security options you just need to scroll down until you find the agents section so this is the agents section and by default this is disabled okay so what you need to do is you just need to choose the random option here otherwise if you want to provide the fixed port here you can just uh, choose this option which is uh, fixed and then you can uh, just give any port which you want to use okay but i prefer using the random port so i'm going to just choose this option and i will uh, suggest you to choose this option here and then only you will see this option in your node creation which is launch agent via web start okay so if this option is disabled you will not see the option in your launch method so i'm going to just save these settings and then once you see this method you just need to choose this method from here and then leave everything as default and uh, the availability i'm going to just leave it as default also which is keep this agent online as much as possible and the environment variables and tool location we have discussed in the last video i'm going to leave them as default which is unchecked and i'm going to save all the settings and you can see windows 8 agent is created and right now it's offline so i'm going to just click on this option and this text says connect agent to jenkins via one of these two methods so there are two methods you can use to connect to your windows agent one is open this uh, url on your windows agent and then click on this button which is going to connect to your jenkins server otherwise the second option is you just need to copy this command and run it onto your windows agent terminal so we are going to choose the second option and we are going to run this command onto our windows terminal so to open this jenkins server on the windows slave i can just use this ip address until windows 8 agent which is also this address but you need to replace this localhost by the ip address of your jenkins slave or the host name of your jenkins slave okay so i'm going to copy this address until uh, windows 8 agent like this and i'm going to open the browser on my windows slave agent so this is the browser which is running on my windows slave agent and i'm going to just uh, paste this url there which is going to open this jenkins web page on your windows slave agent right now before using this command we need to save this agent.jar file which you can download from this link so you just need to click on this agent.jar link i will suggest you to just save this uh, agent.jar on your jenkins folder wherever you have created your jenkins folder for saving all the jenkins related files so i'm going to save it here which i have provided as the root directory for my slave also okay so let me save this file so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the terminal on my windows slave agent so i have opened this terminal on my windows slave agent and first of all i will cd into this folder where i want to save all my jenkins related files which is c colon slash jenkins so once i'm into this folder where my agent.jar is there i'm going to just copy this command which i 
can see on my Windows slave using the Jenkins uh, IP address okay so I'm going to just copy this command make sure that this is not localhost this is the host name or the IP address of your Jenkins machine so I'm going to just copy this uh, whole command and paste it into my Windows terminal and then press enter and this is going to run this uh, agent and once you see this uh, info which says connected then your Windows slave is connected to your Jenkins server so make sure you see this connected message and then you can directly go to your Jenkins master server which is this one and I'm going to open the nodes here so you can see we have created this node right now so I'm going to go to the nodes and you will see this cross symbol is removed from the Windows 8 agent that means this agent is now online which is Windows 8 agent so let's use this agent to create a Jenkins job so I'm going to go to the home folder and I'm going to create a new job and let's say this will be my Windows uh, test one and then I'm going to choose the freestyle project and I'm going to just click OK which is going to create this job and once this job is created in the general settings I will leave description as default which is blank and then I'm going to scroll down a little and I'm going to choose this option which says restrict where this project can run and this time I'm going to use the label which I have given to my Windows slave agent which is Windows so this is the label you can also choose the agent name directly which is Windows 8 agent but this time I'm going to choose this one which is Windows label okay so I have chosen this uh, Windows label here and then I will uh, scroll down I will script everything I just want to test whether this uh, slave is running or not so under the build section I'm going to just choose uh, this option which says execute Windows batch command so just choose this option which says execute Windows batch command because we are running this Jenkins job on our Windows operating system okay and then I think Windows understand the echo command so I'm going to just write echo this command will run on your Windows slave so I'm going to just execute this command on my Windows slave and if you want to see in which directory we are working in we can use the CD command CD command is same as PWD command in your Linux operating system so this will print the present working directory on your Windows operating system so now I'm going to save this uh, job and once the job is created I'm going to just uh, build this job which is going to start building the job and I will just go to the console output of this job and you will be able to see the output of the CD command you can see the CD command is executed and the CD command output is this one so we have chosen C colon slash Jenkins as our root directory so this is the root directory and then uh, Jenkins will create a workspace directory inside your uh, root directory and then you will see your Jenkins job name which is Windows test one in our case you can see here also and the next command we have executed is echo and whatever text we have written here which is also executed successfully so it has echoed this se sentence and then at last we can see the success message that means our Jenkins job is build successfully and on your Windows uh, slave you can also see that there will be a remoting directory created and there will be a workspace directory created and inside your workspace directory your Jenkins uh, job name uh, directory will also be created so you can see Windows test 1 is created which is same as your Jenkins name so this is how you can uh, create a Jenkins slave and launch this slave agent via a method called Java Web Start. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.